For the uninitiated, SpaceX is developing the space launch vehicle that will enable humanity to go to Mars, called the Big Falcon Rocket, or BFR. There are two main parts of the vehicle, you have the booster and the spaceship, and SpaceX wants to develop and test launch the spaceship by early 2019. And SpaceX is not messing around, they are locked in and full steam ahead with the development of the BFR. And it's easy to say I'll believe it when I see it, but the company has actually been showing us that they're all in on this epic endeavor. My last video about the BFR on April 1st touched on the 18,000 square meter facility that will be built on the port of Los Angeles. And this will be the factory where the BFR will be constructed. The video also touched on SpaceX efforts to secure government funding for the development of the BFR and it touched on the BFR launch site near Brownsville, Texas that is slated to be operational by the end of the year. And today we have two awesome developments to cover which further illustrates that SpaceX is determined to get us to Mars. But before we cover those developments, let's quickly recap the parts of the vehicle that are already close to being finished. You see, SpaceX has been preparing for the BFR for years. They started developing the Raptor engine back in around 2011. The Raptor engine will be powered by liquid oxygen and methane and is projected to have the highest thrust to weight ratio in the world and will be extremely efficient. At 1700 kilonewtons of thrust, the Raptor engine will be more than twice as powerful as the Merlin 1D engine that powers the Falcon 9. To finalize the development, SpaceX received $40 million from the U.S. Air Force to assist with its completion in October 2017, adding to the $33 million the Air Force awarded SpaceX in 2016. And this is along with the $67 million funded by SpaceX. So there has been over $140 million of funding for the development of the Raptor engine. And according to reports in October, the development of the Raptor engine should be complete this month in April. So hopefully we hear an update on that soon. Another major component of the BFR that SpaceX has been developing ahead of time is the fuel tank. And believe it or not, Musk said that the fuel tank is the hardest part of the spaceship to develop because SpaceX has a good handle on the other components. You see, the tank is the spaceship's core structure that must withstand incredible pressures and extreme cold temperatures from the liquid oxygen propellant. And if not engineered or constructed properly, it might leak or explode. It's made out of carbon fiber, which has an incredible strength to weight ratio, but the material is not easy to work with. And in November 2016, they successfully completed a critical test of the enormous development tank that measures 12 meters wide. But that tank was constructed for the interplanetary spaceship design, which had an insane width of 17 meters. So SpaceX will have to scale down the design for the BFR. So with the Raptor engine and fuel tank largely complete, everything else will be more straightforward comparatively. All right, now let's move on to the recent developments. First is the incredible picture posted by Musk on Instagram on April 8th. You're looking at the main body tool of the BFR spaceship. See how massive it is next to the Model 3. It's called the spinning mandrel tool. Here's a video of Boeing using a similar tool for the fuselage of a 787. The way it works, it's used as a rack that spins around as carbon fiber is wrapped layer by layer. And after completion, the tool is baked in a giant oven to harden the material and eventually the tool is removed. So essentially, this is a mold of what will become the first BFR spaceship that will be a hulking 45 meters long with a 9 meter diameter. And this massive tool is shrouded beneath the giant white tent at the Port of LA site. The following pictures were taken by Pauline Akelin of Teslarati.com. There has been around 40 cars spotted parked at the tent that measures over 1800 square meters. And next to the tent, there are these metal structures that appear to be sections of molding that will be used for the construction of the BFR. And so these are strong signs that SpaceX is not sparing a second in efforts to build and test the spaceship by next year, as they seem to be starting construction in the tent while the BFR factory is being constructed. And the second development is that SpaceX has recently raised a lot of money to help fund the development of the BFR. They sold 3 million shares, each worth $169, for a total of $507 million. 
With over $500 million, SpaceX will have plenty of money to proceed with the development of the BFR spaceship. I imagine a lot of the money will go to the construction of the BFR factory in the port of LA, and some will likely go towards their satellite internet constellation called Starlink. So hopefully they have enough money to get it complete by next year, because I really want to see it launch. Okay, so to wrap this up, how much is SpaceX worth? Accounting for SpaceX's previous series of fundraising, Equidate, the online trading platform, estimates that SpaceX is valued at over $27 billion. That makes them the third most valuable private company behind Uber and Airbnb. When I read this, I was curious to see what is the most valuable company in the world. It's actually Apple valued at a staggering $850 billion. But in my humble opinion, in another sense, if SpaceX develops the BFR and achieves interplanetary travel, allowing for the colonization of Mars, their worth is simply priceless. Alright, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe and I'll see you on our next journey. Hey guys, it's always so much fun covering the BFR. It's absolutely my favorite topic. Now I'll be covering every major update leading up to the first mission to Mars and it's going to be a blast every step of the way. But you know what gives me goosebumps is the thought that once we finally get there, the adventure really begins. What a time to be alive. Anyway, if you connect with my content and want to support this channel, you can check out my Patreon page in the description below. You can pledge as little as a dollar a month. Every bit helps. Thank you all so much and I'll see you on the next journey.